Michelle Geomatix here today with a video blog on how to copy a feature in Pathfinder Office and paste it in a new XY location. The scenario here is you've collected some GPS data using TerraSync and loaded the SSF file into Pathfinder Office and perhaps you realize that some of your points are really off, maybe because of multipath error and post-processing didn't really help. Your options are, of course, to either go out in the field and recollect the data, or you can manually move the data. Now, it may be easier to manually move data in an edit session, an arc map, after you've exported the data from Pathfinder Office into a shapefile, but here I'm going to show you how you can accomplish this inside of Pathfinder Office. The first step is to select a feature. I'm going to select one of these tree features. You see the blue selection anchor around the feature. I can look at the feature properties and see the various attributes that have been assigned for this feature. And down in the position properties window, which I have open, I can see the XY coordinates. Here they are in UTM. I cannot change these. It would be very convenient if I could come in and just change these. So my option here is to basically copy the attributes from this feature and paste them into a new tree feature that I'll create. So with the feature selected, I'm going to come up to Data and create a feature. It opens the Create Feature dialog, which I'm just going to move over here away from the map so it doesn't get lost. I want to create a new tree feature and the attributes are going to come from the selected feature. And when I click on OK, I could simply offset the existing feature by a distance and bearing, or you can choose a manual position. I'm going to add from the map, and that means when I click on the map, it's going to create a new feature whose attributes are copied from the other feature. I can click on Next to scroll through all the different attributes and change them as needed. And when I'm happy with the settings, I'll click on End. It leaves the Create Feature dialog open, which I'll close. And I now have a new feature, which was really an existing feature that I just copied and pasted. Now you may notice that some of the attributes have changed, like the date field has changed to today's date, whereas in the original feature it's um, from a couple of years ago. So you may need to manually edit some of the attributes of that new feature. And then when you're ready to delete the original feature, you can select it and then click on Delete from the Feature Properties. And the last step would be to save this SSF file, to save these changes. Okay, so I'll go through this process one more time. Let's choose one of these asterisk symbols, which is a mesquite tamarisk tree. It's selected. I'm going to come up to Data, Create Feature, move this window out of the way, choose to create a mesquite tamarisk feature, grab the attributes from the selected feature, come to OK, and then Manual Positions, Add from map is checked on. So I'll come over here and move this visually in my map and click on End. And then I would need to delete the feature. So I'll close the window, highlight the feature, I believe it was this one that I selected from, and delete it from the feature properties. And then I would save. One thing that may be useful is if you have a background image that you could load into Pathfinder Office to visually see where these points you're moving need to go. You can add an image from the background file. You'll need to load an image in the correct format and georeferencing, and then you can add it to your map to display. Similarly, you could come into the Create Feature dialog, choose your feature, from the selected attributes. And in your manual position, you could type in what the XY coordinate needs to be. 
So if you know the XY coordinate in whatever coordinate system your Pathfinder Office project is currently using, you can type those in instead of clicking them from the map. Don't forget to save your changes when you're finished. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Michelle Geomatics inviting you to visit our website at www.geomatics.com and keep us in mind for your geospatial training needs. Goodbye for now.